Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Love, Love Life Trucking. Um, like, comment, subscribe for the guys um, and gals who have not subscribed yet. Feel free to do so. Uh, it's a video I've been wanting to make for a long time just because, you know, tis the season and all that, right? Um, so this video is not gonna have a lot to do with trucking um, in particular or, or loads or freight or anything like that. So um, if that was what you were tuning in for this video, then that's not um, the subject matter for this video. But what is the subject matter for this video is uh, mental health, right? So y'all, those who know me, those who subscribe to my channel, those who have been watching me in my journey, one, I appreciate you guys so much, so much. You guys don't know how much your comments mean to me, good or bad, uh, criticism or feedback. It means a lot to me to have you guys chime in and show me some love. Sometimes I need that out here. I think we all do. But. For those of you who don't know, um, I do have PTSD. Um, I was in the military. I was in the Army 25 uniform, Signal Corps. Um, just some stuff I dealt with in life. Um, it's, you know, it's been rough for me. And um, trucking has been, you know, rough at times. Trucking is a great career, right? Trucking can be wonderful. Trucking can pay the bills. It's nice to get out and see the world. I'm a little country boy from Mississippi. I live in Florida now. But I'm a little country boy from nowhere, Mississippi, right? From Greenwood, Mississippi. And to get out and see the world was a blessing, right? To know that there was so much more than the hood and the slums and the ghetto that I grew up in. Um, but with that being said, y'all, just as grownups, right? Because I'm, I'm a man, I'm a, I'm a husband, I'm a father. Um, I have four biological children. Um, I have five children in total. Um... You know, I have a wife. We've been together 10, 11 years. Um, I, I will admit that sometimes things have been hard for me, right? Because sometimes when you think about it, especially as an owner-operator, right? I'm an owner-operator. I'm a driver for JB Hunt. I have a truck with uh, SFI. Um, the truck itself has been great, so no complaints there. JB Hunt has been good, so no real complaints there. I'll do a video about that in the future. But um, just as truckers, right? As drivers, as independent contractors, as owner operators as lease purchasers as um yard jockeys whatever we are right out here in this industry um it could be very thankless granted um you know we don't ride around looking for a pat on the back we don't ride around looking for a good job driver you know that's not that's not what we ride around for we do it you know some of us do it for the passion some of us do it for the money some of us do it for the travel some of us do it because we ain't got nowhere else to go i don't know but <laughs> All jokes aside, guys, um, take care of your mental health out here. Take care of you. Take time to love on yourself. Take time to, even if it's just taking yourself out to eat, but instead of getting that meal from McDonald's or Subway or um, any other places you visit at a truck stop, or whether it's outside a truck stop, right? It could be Applebee's, Chili's, you know, McAllister's, wherever you decide to go, right? To get your dinner out here if you don't cook it yourself. Um, you know, get out that truck for a second. Get out, uh, get some fresh air, you know, when the weather permits. Um, even if it's sometimes if you're parked at a rest area and weather and, you know, day of, time of day permits, you know, maybe go sit at a picnic bench or something. Get out and um, just try to breathe a little, right? Because I'm, and, and it's weirdly enough for me to say this, but I'm somewhat claustrophobic. Um, I hate being confined in, but I don't react off of it in the truck because... For me, I'm okay as long as I know I got a way out. Because anytime I want to get out this truck, boom, I can open the door, I'm out. Um, You know, but I may deal with some anxiety issues. Depression is a big thing for me. Um, PTSD sometimes. Like, sometimes, sometimes, guys, like, some days I hear my mood, and you guys may go through this too. You can uh, tell me in the comment section below, you know, how do you deal and cope with stress and depression or any other mental illnesses you may have out here. But sometimes, y'all, some days my mood can go from, like I like the song, I can go from zero to 100 real quick. I can go from super happy to super sad, from super sad to optimistic, from optimistic to pessimistic, to just a, a, a wide variety of emotions. And you never know what triggers it. Sometimes you do. Sometimes it could be stress about paying the bills. Uh, your loads didn't go right this week. Uh, your truck broke down and it's a high repair bill freight sucks rate sucks your family sucks 
everybody just sucks, right? You, you just want to cuss out your dispatcher and, and run over the car or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You could be having a bad week out here. And it's so many things out here that we deal with as truckers. And, you know, to, to four-wheelers, right? To the common public. They think, oh, you just sit behind the wheel and you just... They think that's all we do. And that's not all we do. If you became a trucker or you know a trucker, uh, for those of you who are not truckers, just ask them amount of things. Ask them what kind of thoughts go through your head throughout the day. And you're going to hear a laundry list of things that may have nothing to do with sitting behind this wheel and shifting gears all day. We have to think about regulations. We got to think about FC, uh, FMCSA. We got to think about DOT. We got to think about this dispatcher, this load. How I'm going to get home? When I'm going to get home? Where I'm going to pick up my next load at? What's the cost of fuel? Are my tires good? Did I pre-chip? Did I put the seal on that trailer? Am I going to get to this shipper on time? Will they take this load on time? Did I do my paperwork? You see, I, I just named a whole bunch of stuff and it had nothing to do with turning this wheel. But we thinking about all of that while also trying to dodge people who drive like no one else is on the road but them. So, you know, as truckers, we're, we think about a lot, right? So we never have time to sit up and think about ourselves. And that was the point of this video today. It's to say, guys, girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we, we have to start thinking about ourselves, put ourselves first, put our mental health first. We have to love on us. Treat ourselves, you know, treat yourself to something nice if you can. We work hard out here. We sacrifice so much time, so much energy, so much sleep, so much of our well-being at times for those of us who are on the road drivers. Even local drivers too because they have to put in a lot of physicality and that could be taxing on the body over time. Uh, as truckers period, we put in a lot of our time and energy sacrificing sleep and sometimes our physical health, our emotional health and our mental health just to make sure our uh, our wife and husband and kids, um, loved ones don't go without. And that can be very taxing on us. And sometimes it feels nice to just say, hey driver, good job. Hey driver, oh, hey man, I saw you um, do that blind side over there in that corner, man. That was a pretty tight spot, man. How did you do that? You know, good job, man. I don't know if I could have did that. Just sometimes a little bit of it, acknowledgement and appreciation. Uh, <laughs> can't talk y'all. A little acknowledgement and appreciation can go a long way. It truly can. Um, and just as drivers, we we sometimes it is it is a thankless job. Like I said, I'm not looking for a pat on the back or a certificate of participation. And um, I don't think you guys are either. But it is nice to be recognized for the hard work that we put in. Um, out here, how do you guys? So tell me in the comment section, guys. How do you guys deal with um, your stress out here? How do you cope? How do you get up every day and say, okay, I got to drive and I got to do this? What motivates you to get up out of that sleeper, get behind this wheel and drive safely every day? What motivates you? Uh, tell me your story. I love to hear it. Email me um, at G Woodhide. Um, that's G W O O D. H I G H zero three at gmail.com. Email me. Um, I would like to start doing some interviews and some like trucker highlights, right? Um, where I nominate like a trucker of the week, trucker of the month. And you know, I, I can't sit here and tell you I have a cash prize to give you. I can't sit here and tell you that I have a, a gift card for Pilot of Loves to give you. But what I can say is I just want to give you my appreciation. And as one trucker to another, to thank you for all you do. I don't care if you're a rookie and you're just, you know, getting your feet wet out here or whether you're a seasoned old head who can blindside back down a mountain at 80 miles an hour. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I don't care. You could be, you know, like I said, the inexperienced driver or you could be the super duper ultra mega trucker. I just want to show my appreciation because sometimes we don't get that out here. Sometimes all we get is fines, fees. We blame for every accident, but we don't get the love and we don't get the appreciation for the accidents that we stopped from happening. 
the accidents we avoided, the damage we managed to control and uh, lessen the effect of the safe driving that we do, the arrivals on time. Sometimes just to have a shipper tell you, nice job driver. Sometimes that can be um, amazing. So all that, uh, all that to say this guys, now ended on this, please take care of yourselves out here. Get out of that truck, go and um, you know, take your nice shower, get you a hot meal and instead of taking that meal to go, um, eat it off in the diner. Um, go to Denny's, do something for yourself. It's the holiday season. I know a lot of us, you know, maybe I heard stressing about how we're gonna provide for our kids for Christmas, uh, my wife and you know, things like that. But just take care of yourselves out here. Don't let the stress of all these things weigh you down out here and have you running ragged. And then, you know, you end up in a situation where you've gave everything to everyone, but then you have nothing left for yourself. Take care of yourselves out here, guys. I don't have to know you to tell you I love you because I love you with the love of God. Be blessed out here. Know that at any time, if anybody needs me, reach out to me. If you have my number, um, you can call or text me. For those who have my number, you already know that you can do that. Uh, for those who don't have my number, you can email me and I'll give you my number. Uh, if not, you can email me. Like I said, tell me your story. Tell me how do you cope. Tell me uh, what are some things you can uh, that you um, do out here to manage your stress and manage your depression and to keep your uh, happiness and uh, performance at peak levels. I would love to hear from you guys. Like seriously, like like seriously, you know, I'll just side um, and just take care of yourselves, y'all. It's that time of year; it can be very stressful. Take care of yourselves. Mad love to y'all big respect to all the drivers out there i don't care what you drive i don't care if it's you know stick shift automatic i don't care if you're a yard jockey or a school bus driver i don't care if you're a tanker or a flatbed or a reefer driver oil field gravel whatever you do logs all that big shout outs to all y'all mad love to all y'all and keep doing what you do because a lot of people can't do it and a lot of people wish they could but they ain't cut out for it. So for y'all that keep getting up out there sleeper every morning, big ups to y'all. I'ma holler at y'all.